welcome to Tiger TV. I'm Nabra's one. Today is Tuesday, March 1st, 2022. I hope you had a great start to the week. Now let's prepare to recite the school pledge. Now in the school, we'll repeat the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. To our next anchor. And now for the Pons Pledge. As a proud SWA Tiger, I'm prepared to learn. I'm open to the diversity of others. I'm unique and have my own gifts and talents. I'm noble and demonstrate integrity. I'm capable of achieving greatness and I'm engaged in learning. We have a few announcements to help you prepare you for your day. Today's word of the day is outline. Outline means to give a summary of something without many details. Before you start writing an essay, it can be really helpful to outline research and a few thoughts in order to make writing your essay so much easier. You mean that's really true? The time has come? It is true. Acceptance Club will be meeting on Wednesdays starting March 2nd. We'll be meeting from 2.50 until 3.45 in room B3. That's Miss King's room. That's me, it's my classroom. Let me slow down. What is Acceptance Club? Acceptance Club is the club for all people who are accepting of all people. Does that sound like you? Maybe you should join us. I mean, no pressure, but personally, I can't wait. Our first meeting, Wednesday, March 3rd. Get that permission slip. They're outside room B3. Don't forget to buy your yearbook. Sale ends May 1st, 2022. Yearbooks this year cost $15. Money can be paid to Miss Hurst in room C7. Student Council meeting reminder. There will be a student council meeting on Tuesday, March 1st, 2022 and room B9 from 2.50 to 3.50 p.m. If there are any questions, please see Miss Gross. Hey everyone, elections for the next student member of the Baltimore County Public Schools Board of Education are just around the corner. So be sure to stay updated and informed on this year's candidates. If you aren't already familiar with the student member, or SMOB for short, here's what you should know. The SMOB represents all 111,000 plus students in BCPS. They have the responsibility of attending bi-weekly board meetings, committee meetings, organizing platforms to hear from students like town halls and school visits, and so much more. The SMOB is your voice on the board and gets to work directly with our superintendent, Dr. Williams, and other board members to make a positive impact in BCPS. Since 2020, all BCPS middle and high school students have had the opportunity to vote for SMOB. So that means you, Yes, you can vote for the SMOB this year. Applications were open to all 10th and 11th grade students in December. Then in January, a panel of Baltimore County Student Council's student leaders, the student government advisor of the year, and the principal of the year reviewed all applications and narrowed the pool down to the candidates we have today. So I encourage you to get to know your candidates, learn about what they envision for BCPS and discover who you believe will best represent you because voting day is just around the corner. It's on March 17th. You can learn all about the candidates by following their official campaign accounts on social media, checking out their recorded speeches from BCPS TV studios, tuning into their Q&A session in March or following me at at BCPS underscore smob on Instagram for more information. See ya! Do librarians take with them when they go fishing? Bookworm. Thank you for tuning into Tiger TV today. Do your best work today. Have a Tiger Terrific Tuesday!